here's a cool wheeled vehicle model that I whipped up for the webinar that aims to use some simple materials found at your local hardware store, as well as parts that could be easily 3D printed. So one major positive that I envision with modeling and 3D printing a wheeled vehicle or scrambler is that you can make custom wheels. So using CDs is nice and all, but I'm personally a fan of stretching in an O-ring over a 3D printed hub that will allow you to customize the size. And my thinking is get a greater grip on the floor, which will help you stop on the spot a little bit easier. Uh, you can also create lightweight and strong axle structures like the green 3D printed one at the front here or the orange and yellow one in the back. Uh, you can also model any of the purchase components that you have, and then you can see how you're going to need to modify them. So for example, this aluminum tube that makes up the structure, you can see has a couple drilled holes in it. So it's very easy to know exactly where those are gonna need to be. So you know exactly how you need to modify it to have everything assembled cleanly and quickly. So let's hop back into Onship and take a look at that model. And here it is. So this is the part studio where I've modeled all the parts and you can see that I've got everything neatly organized into folders, but of course I can open those up and you can see you know, for the aluminum tube, for example, it started as a simple sketch of a square, and then it was just extruded out to make that body. And then everything from there was built up off of that original body piece. Um, hopping into the assembly, let's take a look. We can see that we've got all the different components we need, plus a bunch of extra nuts that I didn't model because I used Onshape's standard content in the assembly uh, instance. Um, I think this model shows off a lot of like really neat things that allow you to visualize how it's going to work before you commit to 3D printing it. So for example, I've got a little release mechanism here. This probably looks pretty familiar if you built a wheeled vehicle in the past, but I wanted to make sure that it would have enough swing range to get fully out of the way and stay leaned forward so it didn't accidentally kick back and into the ratchet. And it looks to me like when it starts to contact the plastic, it's plenty out of the way and everything will be able to spin freely. Speaking of spinning freely, uh, it is pretty simple to set up a threaded rod with a wing nut, which is a pretty common way to create a brake for a wheeled vehicle or a scrambler. And as we spin our wheel, whoops, let me zoom out a little bit. As we spin our wheel, we can see that the wing nut will slide along its 3D printed track. Probably not gonna need to travel quite this much, but you get the point. It's eventually going to hit the end It'll bottom out. Since it's stuck in its track, it's no longer able to spin and it will cause the rear axle to come to a dead stop, hopefully stopping the vehicle on the spot for maximum points. So this model was a lot of fun to put together and gave me a lot of really good insights into how, you know, I would want to construct and build and, you know, maintain one of these wheeled vehicles. So I think it does have a lot of benefits, you know, to actually model this up take a look at it, really think through what are you gonna to need to buy? What are you gonna to need to 3D print? What are you gonna to need to modify? So that when it all comes together, you end up with one vehicle that's going to work exactly as you're hoping.